Hi everybody, it's Jeff with Home Repair Tutor. Make sure you thoroughly clean the top of your tiles before using epoxy grout. Use a damp sponge. The epoxy grout that I used is called CEG Light by Custom Building Products. The large bucket contains the Part B mix, directions, a set of rubber gloves, and a small container that has the Part A hardener slash colorant. Make sure that you thoroughly mix well, make sure you set a timer first for 30 minutes and then thoroughly mix the part B with a margin trowel. Scoop the bottom and the sides of the bucket. Then you can add part A, which again is your colorant and your hardener. In this case, my epoxy grout is going to be white. Use the margin trowel to get as much of the colorant as possible out of the small container. And then you want to thoroughly mix both part A and part B to make sure there's no streaking in the color of the epoxy grout. You may have to mix this for maybe three to five minutes and make sure you do a thorough job. Scoop out maybe half of your epoxy grout into the hardest corner or spot on your tiles to reach and then what you can do is use a rubber grout float to work the epoxy grout into all the grout joints literally smear and push the epoxy grout into the grout joints and then use your rubber float at a 45 degree angle to work the epoxy into all the different nooks and crannies of your tile. In this case I'm working on my shower floor tile in my bathroom and uh, I'm trying to move the grout float diagonally at a 45 degree angle across the floor. If you need a full list of the supplies that I use for this project, just visit homerepairtutor.com and then search for epoxy grout and you'll find it there. The next step is to remove all the epoxy grout off to the surface of your tile. Move your rubber grout float at a 90 degree angle diagonally across the tiles. This will remove most of the epoxy grout and I highly recommend that you do this because the next step and the final step is to clean off the surface with a sponge. Dip the sponge in a five gallon bucket of water and a few drops of Dawn dish washing soap. Use the soft side of the sponge first and then the buff side in a circular motion to remove most of the grout, if not all of it, after the second or third five gallon bucket. Then finally use a microfiber cloth, drag it across the tiles to get a nice uh, clean tile surface. So what part of your house could use epoxy grout? Let me know in the comments and I hope this video helped you out. Take care.